Anyway, I'm here today to talk about the Norwich Western Link Road. What can I say about this road? Firstly, the most important thing is there is still time to stop it. There is no planning permission yet to build this road and we can stop it, but we need all of your help to do that. So why, why should we stop the Norwich Western Link Road? You've already heard the carbon arguments from Andrew, they're significant. It's also an ecological catastrophe. Now Twyford Down was an ecological catastrophe. The first time I walked the route of the Western Link Road, I had the same feeling I felt the first time I walked on Twyford Down. How the hell can anybody destroy a place like this to shave a few minutes off a road journey? Because that's all it's about, you know, and it's just horrendous. So what is there? Well, there's a chalk stream, the Wensum River. Chalk streams, chalk rivers are one of the rarest habitats on Earth. They're also one of the most diverse and we need to cherish them and not fill them full of any more pollution, not build a massive viaduct right across them. That river supports otters, rare dragonflies, rare fish, rare crayfish, water voles, kingfishers, you name it, it's in that river, yeah? Um, there's also another little chalk stream, the Tud, that will be impacted. And an environment agency study into chalk rivers across Britain said the Tud was one of the finest rivers in England. And we're about to put a dual carriageway right next to it. The road is 3.9 miles long, and it's 3.9 miles of dual carriageway through a countryside that is rolling hills and little valleys. Everybody thinks Norfolk, Norfolk's flat. I'd just like to say now, it really is. There are bits of Norfolk that's actually quite hilly, and that is a really hilly bit of countryside. And, uh, you know, it goes up and down, up and down. So this road is a series of viaducts and cuttings through hills. It's absolutely horrendous to look at. The impact on the landscape will be horrible. And this is a landscape that's right on the edge of the city where anybody can go and walk and cycle and enjoy it for free. It's really precious. We all know how important for well-being. The lovely woman from Rimrose Valley was saying how important it is to have these places on our doorstep for well-being. And it's important that we protect them for that reason. I'm not going to keep you for long because you've heard a lot of speeches today and you've all been really, really patient. <clears throat> but I'll say this, the Norwich Western Link Road is a monster from the past. It's based on a lie. It's based on the idea that roads decrease traffic and decrease carbon. When, as Andrew has said, we know that this road will increase Norfolk's carbon footprint by around about 18%. We also know every report after report after report in all the 30 years that Becca and I have been coming and standing outside the DFT, every report has said that roads increase traffic, they do not decrease it. What other lies have we got? We've had some brilliant ones coming out from Norfolk County Council. One of them is that the, uh, the road will decrease ambulance times, because we all know that the whole National Health Service crisis is based on the fact that there isn't a link road to the west of Norwich. Go figure. Um, they also say, you know, they'll increase the habitat available for wildlife because, you know, acres of trees stuck in little plastic tubes are going to replace ancient woodlands and old trees. You know, it's nonsense. The other thing that's really worth mentioning is, you'll see this lovely banner behind me that's got lots of bats on it. Before the road was announced, UEA at the university and an independent researcher we're researching the bat colony in the woods along the route and along the river valley. That bat colony is of national significance. It's actually what we think is the largest colony of the Barberstock bat in the whole of Britain. And this is Europe's most threatened bat. Now it's only a bat, but it bat is there because there are ancient woodlands, because there are, there are water meadows along the river, because there are hedgerows, because this is an old landscape that's still got all of those old features in it and those bats are really, really important. And the time has come that we need to put nature at the forefront of this sort of thinking. Hello, thank you very much, sir. So, I think there is also in the back of our minds the suspicion that what this is about is about freeing up more land for housing development on the edge of Norwich, and it's about lining people's pockets, to be honest. Now, two, 200 years ago, the poet John Clare said, when Prophet gets his clutches in, there's nothing he will spare. I'll say that again. When Prophet gets his clutches in, there's nothing he will spare. And I reckon that it's time we move beyond that sort of thinking. It's time that we put our carbon footprint and we put the needs of nature at the forefront of our thinking. 
It's also time for all of us to stand up and support our local campaigns and to join together and support TAM. And I'd really, really appreciate it if all of you, wherever you are from, sign up and support the, Stop, the, the Norwich Western Link campaign. Um, just drop the Winston link, it says on the t-shirt, you know, you can find us online. It's also time to tell the DFT not to fund this road. This road won't be built without funding from the people in this building. So we're here today to tell them not to fund this road. And it's also, and I want you to join me with this bit, it's time to say no more roads. Okay, one, two, three. No, no more, more roads! roads. Again. No, no more, more roads. roads! One more time. No, no more roads! roads. Thank you. Woo! My name's Jenny Jones. I'm um, a member of the Green Party sitting in the House of Lords. And yes, I know it's not democratic and I don't like it either, but when you have so few opportunities to make your voice heard, you accept whatever you can take. So, um, now I've been given a fantastic briefing um, which of course I've left behind um, and so uh, I would just like to say a couple of things. First, if we are going to actually not wipe ourselves and the whole of our ecosystems out, the planet will be alright, the planet will survive, but all the ecosphere that we rely on for life, we will take that with us when we go and so we must stop burning fossil fuels. It's the single most important thing that we can do for ourselves, our kids, and the planet. Stop using fossil fuels. And that leads to, on to all sorts of things. We should not be building new roads. We should not be building HS2. It's billions into a waste bucket when we need billions for the NHS and, and for all these other things that we rely on so much. And of course, <laughs> we really have to think about managing our cities, our towns, our villages, so that we don't need to travel as much. Travel, yes, if it's, if it's you know, fairly um, environmentally friendly, but not when you're burning up airline aviation fuel and um, an and, and SUV <laughs> um, diesel. Um, it's one of the things I think that in my political life, I have seen a change because I was on the London Assembly with Ken Livingstone and when he brought in the congestion charge, he also subsidised the buses. And in my life, it was the first time that I've ever seen a Conservative on the, on the bus. Somebody in a... What do you say, sweetie? I don't know what he's saying, but I don't think it's very friendly. But you know what? Get out of your van and come here and say that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to park and come back. But anyway, um, listen, what you're doing today is incredibly important. The slogan is, unite to survive. Isn't it unite to survive? Yeah. And that's absolutely what, what we all have to do. And whatever our background, whatever our ethnicity, whatever... Um, our circumstances. We have to help each other to do the right thing and we have to tell other people what we're doing as well so that they know then they can join us and they're not um, excluded. And last of all, please vote. Okay. Thank you all so much for being here and it's only because you're doing this that I can have a voice in the House of Lords because if you're not doing this, the, you know, the government can say, people don't care, this isn't something anyone cares about. But because you're here in your thousands, it makes a difference to at every level of government. So thank you very much. Thank you. So we've got members of Stop the Winsome Link who are outside the Department for Transport. And they're going to be delivering a painting from Tor Falcon, a local Norwich artist, and a letter as well.
would do it for the people. I would do it for the people. Free Marcus and Morgan!